Hey, I'm Alex Gilbert, a reporter at The Defiant. In today's Daily Defiant, the FTX fallout continues as yet another crypto company is found to be insolvent and maybe even dishonest. This morning, Maple Finance, an uncollateralized lending protocol for institutional players, severed ties with crypto hedge fund Orthogonal Trading, saying it will not work with bad actors. It's spicy stuff. We'll cover exactly what went down and why on today's Daily Defiant. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Defiant for all the latest news in decentralized finance. Thanks to Opolis for sponsoring this video, more on them later. Before we get into why Maple Finance cut ties with Orthogonal, it would probably help to explain how Maple works. Entities called pool delegates can create lending pools, a tranche of money from which whitelisted users can borrow. Pool delegates don't necessarily put up all or any of the money in a lending pool, but they do manage that money by negotiating loan terms with borrowers, performing due diligence, and liquidating collateral when borrowers default. For their services, they earn performance fees and an upfront loan establishment fee. Orthogonal Trading has two business arms, according to Maple, a credit arm and a trading arm. We should note up front that Orthogonal Credit, a pool delegate, is not the bad guy in this story. Maple notes that Orthogonal Credit has operated independently from the Orthogonal Trading arm. Maple also notes that, and I quote, the credit team has acted with integrity and professionalism and is seeking strategic solutions as an independent entity. Nevertheless, Maple severed ties with the parent company and thus Orthogonal Credit. That of course means it also severed ties with Orthogonal's trading arm, which is a different role in this story. They've borrowed from two Maple lending pools, one managed by Orthogonal Credit and the other by M11 Credit, a subsidiary of Dutch investment firm Maven 11. According to M11, it reached out to borrowers after the collapse of FTX to, quote, confirm their financial situation in order to protect the interests of the pool liquidity providers as much as possible. Orthogonal Trading repeatedly insisted it had limited exposure to FTX, according to M11. M11 and Maple now think that those statements were lies. We'll get into that in just a moment, but first a note from our sponsor. Life as a Web3 indie worker is tough. Tracking multiple income sources, looking for healthcare, withholding taxes, always time. Opolis is a digital employment co-op made for indie workers by indie workers. Opolis provides pay stubs and annual W-2s for proof of employment and offers affordable group healthcare benefits. Also, Opolis members earn work tokens and share in profits for utilizing member services like running payroll and referring friends. Intrigued? Learn more at opolis.co. Back to our story. Despite making its recent payments, Orthogonal Trading on Saturday told M11 it had, quote, incurred much larger losses than previously disclosed. On Sunday, Orthogonal missed a $10 million payment, and M11, citing its master loan agreement, issued a notice of default for all of Orthogonal's active loans. Furthermore, M11 announced that all appropriate legal avenues to recover funds will be pursued, including arbitration or litigation as necessary. M11 is accusing Orthogonal of having lied about its financial situation in the immediate wake of FTX's collapse, violating its loan agreement. But M11 also says it believes Orthogonal attempted to recover losses through further trading in the wake of that collapse, quote, ultimately losing significant capital. Time will likely tell whether that's true or not. Whatever the case, it appears Orthogonal is wrecked. Maple users and investors are also suffering, however. Note that this isn't the only blow to befall an M11 managed pool in recent days. Last week, Oros, a crypto trading firm, missed a loan payment of 2,400 wrapped Ether worth $3.1 million at the time. Of course, today's fallout could have been far worse given prior exposure on Maple to FTX and Alameda. Exposure that pool delegates, including, ironically, Orthogonal Credit, appear to have offloaded in September. But Maple's token, MPL, began to nosedive Monday, dropping 27%. Several large holders have begun selling, according to on-chain observers. Meanwhile, Orthogonal Trading and Oros were allowed to borrow huge amounts from their respective pools. For example, Orthogonal has borrowed almost 80% of the tokens on M11's USDC pool. This has prompted criticism of poor risk management on the part of M11 and Maple, as well as criticism of the latter's lofty claim that it's one of the few to operate at the cutting edge of DeFi, offering the unsecured lending typically precluded by crypto's volatility. DeFiist noted that Maple lenders in the affected pools are now effectively FTX creditors. So much for on-chain transparency and the new future of finance, they wrote. These parties will be fighting for additional cents on the dollar. On your behalf in court, you are now a claimant of a claimant of a claimant.